do you listen to movies in other languages? Do you watch movies in other languages? Um, occasionally, if it's good. There's a few out there that are excellent. Like, Inc. well, you you ever watch anything in Polish? No. Do you speak Polish? No. Okay. Absolutely not. Okay. No, I bet I bet Polish Hollywood is awful. I bet it's absolutely terrible. <laughs> I would put money on it that it's unwatchable. Um, sorry, all my Polish people out there, I love you. Um, but yeah, there's been times like letters from Iwo Jima, mm. which is uh, Iwo Jima from World War II from the Japanese perspective. Right. It's powerful. It's very, very powerful. And it's it's not Americanized, obviously. Well, it's made by Clint Eastwood. I think it was d- directed by Clint Eastwood. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So it's American, American made, but because it's like uh, Flags of Our Fathers. Uh, was the story of Iwo Jima from the Americans' perspective and, like, what happened to all of them when they got home from the war as opposed to Eat Letters from Iwo Jima, which is just strictly from the Japanese perspective, all in Japanese, on the island, because all of them pretty much got murdered. What killed in action. Like, not murdered. Killed yeah, in action. Yeah, Americans, we talk a lot about, like, other dictators and heinous things that the world's done, but that one definitely has to... Well, be, be in the conversation of taking the cake. It's a it's a different perspective. Because the story goes is that they surrendered and we just blew them up anyway. That's the way any, the story any, goes. And Iwo Jima? Uh, Hiroshima. No, Iwo Jima. This is Iwo Jima. Oh. Okay. Not Hiroshima. Okay. Not Hiroshima. That's No, that's completely different. Hiroshima. Iwo, Iwo Jima. So you know like, you know, like the famous picture of like the, the people on the island lifting up the flag? It's like six guys lifting up the flag? Mm-hmm. That's Iwo Jima. Okay. So Iwo Jima is one of the islands when we're doing island hopping. So... That movie's in Japanese. Phenomenal. Um, there's uh, Midnight in Paris, with, which is in French, obviously, uh, with Marlon Brando. The famous, the famous pass the butter scene. Uh, I'll let you Google it if you want. Cause it's hilarious and pass gross. The, pass the butter? Put it this way. Um, they didn't have lube. That's that's your hand, yeah. There you go. Yeah. So that's an excellent <laughs> movie. Watch we watched that in uh, college and class. That was great. Um, other shows in other languages. Um, Lilyhammer on Netflix, Norwegian. That was pretty good. So I will watch things in other languages if it's good. Yeah, why not? I I I watch everything with subtitles anyway. Oh yeah, me too. Yeah, me everything. too. Every everything. 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 And that's just live. Everything. Um. Nah, we uh, it definitely helps. It does. Definitely helps. I watch a lot of Spanish shows. I bet. Um, because I'm not completely fluent, but they also have really good writing. It's very dramatic, plot twists. They write good thrillers. They write write, write good thrillers. Not to mention, it helps me get a little bit more in touch with my heritage. So, Spanish movies, House of Car. Uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, House of Cards, Kevin Spacey. No, 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 House Wait. of Cards. Um, <laughs> what is it? Uh, Money Heist. Money mm. Heist. Living. Uh, one's called Living Without Permission. Um, I'm watching. Just finish one called Alba. They all happen to t- like take place in Spain. I think Netflix just got the algorithm right. That they make they make some good shows though. But mostly, mostly, mostly Spanish. But I'm never against watching other ones too because especially with netflix it's become so globalized there's a lot of good stuff that's in french or spanish or whatever yeah there is there is one uh movie on netflix i watched not too long ago another world war ii movie um about again also norway no i think it was norway or sweden um it was a true story completely in swedish or finnish or fucking whatever language they speak up there. <laughs> I don't remember. But this guy, this story of this guy and how he survived is fucking crazy. Like you thought Leo DiCaprio had a tough time in The Revenant? This guy was like, hold my beer. I forgot the name of it. Oh, yeah? I forget the name of it. It's off Netflix. But it was incredible. So yeah, honestly, foreign films are a lot good to watch because it's different from the Hollywood like rubric. They tend to have very compelling or based off true stories, but I would just say compelling in general because of what you just said, that, and, that, that rubric. And did you know 
because I don't know if we've talked about this, but I've talked to a lot of people about this. The reason why Hollywood has gone to shit. Do you know why? Like one of the biggest reasons? No. Lightning. With the world becoming more globalized. And is, it, is it China? It's because of China? It's not necessarily because of China. <laughs> it's because of China. It's not, not because, it's of, because China. of China. It's because the way the numbers have shifted, 80% of box office is international. So mm. Hollywood oh, yeah, no, has sure. adapted and yeah. made cookie cutter films or films where there isn't too many American symbols, colloquialisms, representations. Like we're never going to have some of the most iconic movies that we've had, like the Godfather, because it's just too American. You know, not really. The Godfather, honestly, it's kind of crazy to say or the like, Godfather is very American. It's no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's very or like the first or one things least. like you know even like other movies like The Breakfast Club or Ugh, what a film you know um, Scarface, all of these different just super iconic films. It's Hollywood is not going in that direction. Streaming is because streaming is replacing a lot of what's happening in Hollywood yeah, and, okay. and bring and bringing good stories back. Yeah. But prior to that, think about the movies in the last. 15 years fast Marvel. 12 yeah and i don't marvel a thousand Ma yeah Mar i was gonna say that marvel a thousand all Batman of, all again. the biggest selling movies it's just straight blockbusters yeah straight blockbusters. i mean do they make a billion dollars though oh yeah i mean but that's what it is they're following the money follow the money always follow the money and they're, they're still good like i i know people they're, who like the they're, marvel they're, movies. they're they're entertaining yeah that's, they're, that's uh, like well, good, great. I know. Do I love Spider Man? The last Spider Man, uh, the multiverse. Yeah, that you know. Yeah, that was the first Tom Holland Spider Man I've ever seen. Ah, is incredible. And I was just mind blown. The other, the other two but are also very, very. good. That was mind blown. I mean, but to the point of Marvel, it's like they follow the same formula. Every movie's pretty much the same. And with the like, the uh, the corny asides. Yeah, and you it's know, like the the lines that they say. They all have to be funny. They all have to be action packed. But like not actually funny. Uh, but like 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 not not ha ha funny, but like ah uh, like corny. a like a snappy yeah it's witty like, like they all uh, be witty in like the Fast series. I swear, Vin Diesel's the star of this movie. He has the least amount of lines, and they're yeah. all the same. Yeah, they're, like, all, they're all the same. Sometimes movies. you just gotta race, kid. Double family. Yeah, family. It's oh all, yeah, yeah, the family. They're, they're all they're family. all the same. Yeah, they make the same movie over and over again. That's I think. That was the problem with Star Wars. Star Wars tried to be witty and snappy and funny and quirky and quickby. It's just like, and representing all the groups. You have a black guy. You have a strong woman. You have another strong woman. You have another black guy. It's just like, guys, can you just tell a good story, please, for fuck's sake? Don't. You can do both. You can do both. You can do both. And that's my, that's kind of my overall problem with Hollywood as a whole. Yeah. There's with, a lot of with like TV whole. shows and then movies, it's like. I mean, but again. You can watch what's old. Like, I, I definitely watch more old things than new things. Uh, me as well, yeah. But I will say that streaming giants, the video streaming giants, have brought, and it's interesting. You look at it, that's where all the great actors are now. All the, all the great actors and actresses. They're, they're, now they're, they're not even in theaters. Barely. Yeah. Well, Every, everything's going straight to to Netflix or HBO Max or or they go Amazon. to they go to theaters within three weeks to on a streaming service. Right. Yeah. 